What's up, everybody? Glad to see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow. I'm Eric, your host, and we've got something really, really cool for you guys in our series of system builds. You guys have requested that we bring you guys system builds all the way from high end all the way down to low end, and we've been kicking them down to the table. So today's build is going to be the $1,000 build. So this is all the parts I have in front of me comes to $1,000, and it was actually a little bit tricky getting all the parts together to try to bring you guys a game gaming system that could be totally dedicated to gaming, have strong graphics, and still fit within that budget. I really tried to stick most of the money into the video card because well, in the gaming system, the video card and the hard drive, they're pretty much a real important element. If you have a really cheap CPU, it's gonna affect you, but having a great, great CPU beyond having a mid-level CPU is not gonna affect your gaming experience that much. Now, I know you guys are always gonna have other questions, so yes, we are bringing you guys other builds. We'll have the $750 AMD build and the $500 AMD build coming up soon. But for now, let's jump in and let's talk about all the parts using this build. So let's start off with the case. We chose the Intermax Hoplite. This bad boy is white and comes to market at about $80, is a mid-tower case and has lots of nice features and is cool to look at from the eye. Next up, we have the motherboard. The Biostar Hi5Z87X3D motherboard. This thing's coming in market about $160. The special things about this motherboard are it has really good audio on it and it's actually won some awards from other people out in the internet lately, so you guys might want to take a look at this on your own. For the CPU, we've got the Intel i5-4670K. This thing comes to market at about $239. It actually did come with a cooler inside of the box. We could have totally cheesed it out and used that and saved some money, but we figured people wanted a little bit of overclocking with that K, so we bought an actual better one. Next up, let's talk about the video card. The Sapphire HD7950 is a three gigabyte video card coming to market at about $260. And this three gigabyte bad boy is basically the second highest card that you can get in the AMD lineup as far as single card GPU goes. This thing will pretty much power any game out there that is on the market at no problem at 1080p. As far as the memory, we chose eight gigabytes of Kingston Genesis memory. This comes to the market at about $70. For the cooler, we chose the Thermaltake. This is the NIC C4 cooler coming to market at about $50. Now, this thing's really cool because it doesn't have edges on it that stick out covering your memory and stuff. So upgrading and doing stuff with this cooler actually works very, very easy. For the power supply, we also have another Thermaltake product. This is the TR2 600 watt power supply. This comes in a market about $60, and this thing can be used to power at least two cards. So if you wanna upgrade this to do a crossfire situation, you'll have the power to do it. Next up, let's talk about the storage. For our optical drive, we have the Samsung drive. This is a DVD-RW. It's coming to market at about $20. And for our storage drive, we chose the Seagate Barracuda 1 terabyte 7200 RPM hard drive. This came to market at $70. Now, I know some of you people out there are gonna say, hey, we could've chose a different drive, but we were really trying to focus on keeping this at that $1,000 limit because let's just face it, if you only have $1,000, that's it, a penny's too much over. All right, folks, so there you have it, the $1,000 build. Now, I know that there are parts that can be changed out, use this, use that, but hey, you guys asked us to bring you these builds, so these are the parts that we chose. And actually sticking within those parameters gets kind of tricky because something goes up in price, the budget goes up, you're outside of that budget. I try to get this thing to be totally geared towards playing games, hence the high-end video card. Now also, if any of you folks out there are interested in buying this, all the parts will be listed down there in the description button down below that like button, which I know you guys are gonna hit to make sure that you show us you appreciate us. Also, I know some people are gonna say, hey, it doesn't come with Windows. I know it doesn't. People can't agree on which version of Windows they wanna get, and honestly, most of you guys pirate it anyways. Not that I support that, but you just do it, and you can get a code online from people from anywhere to 10 to $25 for any OS you wanna get. We're focusing on the system itself. So if you guys aren't sub to the channel, there'll be a button back here. Make sure you hit that. We'll have follow-up videos. The first one will be our in-house tech, Anthony Reynolds, bringing you guys a full-blown time-lapse build. Then we'll have a performance video. And then, well, something I know you guys are gonna like. So stay tuned to Tech of Tomorrow. We'll see you guys back here on the channel.